North Austin has been home to East Ubuntu since the early 2000s. I moved to Austin in 2002 with my daughter, um, and I've been living in North Austin since 2003. The teacher and mother has seen the city change and developed a desire for community and government service. She's one of seven running for the Austin City Council District 4 seat. I am um, really hopeful that um, voters will really think uh, about who they want to represent District 4. But affordability is on many Austinites' minds, with rent and home prices skyrocketing in a hot market. Are there ways that we could cap some of the rental properties? Is there a way that we can cap the rent, you know, across the board? Is there a way we could look at zoning, um, outdated zoning policies? She says the city is keeping pace with the higher income earners, but not the working class. We have to continue to um, advocate for private and um, nonprofit um, organizations to uh, pay workers. I think it's it's a really simple formula. Property tax is really high and a lot of people have retired. And um, on their retirement pay, um, senior citizens are struggling to pay their taxes. If elected, Bunto wants to get police staffing back up to levels she feels are adequate. They're understaffed. They can't go out on all the calls as regularly as they used to. In turn, she hopes that that can open up room for improvement in the department and more community policing hours. You know, they're not able to um, take the time to talk to community members, which is what we want, right? The solution to homelessness? Well, that's complicated. As all may agree, the homeless need to be housed, but how does the city make that happen? It's not just a Band-Aid that, oh, here's a voucher for however many months and then if that lapses, then you'll have to reapply and you're not even sure if you'll be eligible when you reapply. And Bunto says she would want to utilize abandoned buildings and work on finding permanent solutions to the problem. You know how uh, District 4, ha uh, we have a lot of like buildings, older buildings, warehouses, office spaces. It's not being utilized. Could we look at repurposing some of these spaces? Ultimately, she hopes to sit down and have these conversations with the homeless people themselves about their needs. She says if elected, she vows to be a council member who engages with constituents directly. Bridget Spencer, Fox 7 Austin News.